Donkey Kong. One of the most important moments in a video game is the boss fight. A boss fight ties the bow on the world you've dedicated so much time to, and transitions from one chapter to the next. Players tend to favor a boss based on how challenging, entertaining, or the duration of the fight. In some cases, this could make or break either the chapter or the entire game. Looking back at the bosses we fought in Donkey Kong 64, there are some fond battles and some irritating. I went back to play them all and rank them from worst to best. I won't be counting the final battle against King K. Rool because that fight is incredible and great. It seems unfair against the other bosses. Instead, I'll compare the other fights to the final one in the big arena. Okay. Starting with my least favorite, Puff Toss from Gloomy Galleon. Figures the worst boss would be in the worst world <laughs> and a water level too. There's so much I dislike about this boss fight. For starters, I don't understand why we must use Lanky in this fight. Literally, this fight could have been done with any of the Kongs. He was just next in the rotation. And while I'm going to make this complaint for most of the fights, none of his special abilities were used in this battle. So, why this? Never mind the character selection. The motorboat you're forced to use has difficult controls. As the DK stars get smaller and the clock keeps ticking, the more difficult it is to get Lanky to drive through them. Which, by the way, why was this decided the way to defeat the boss? I'm not even doing anything, really. As for the environment, the camera angle is meh, but I can't see a damn thing in this storm. The entire fight, I'm just squinting my eyes, hoping I'm going the right way. Here are some of the positive things I have to say. I enjoy the target locking puff top that comes around, as well as the fireballs raining down and the occasional shockwave. Otherwise, that's about it. I never enjoyed playing through this one. Okay. I don't have many negative things to say about the first boss fight. It is what it is, and it's the first one. The first boss fight is rarely challenging or unique. Besides, the players are still adjusting to the game. There isn't anything special about Donkey Kong being the one up against him, other than he being the only available Kong. Excluding Diddy. My biggest issues with this fight is how I can barely see anything once again. But also, the hitbox on this bastard is crazy. I don't understand why half my TNT barrels do nothing to him. This fight goes on far too long because I don't throw the barrel precisely at his fat head. Anyways. Okay. Army Dill is up yet again, but from the second appearance in Crystal Caves. I will say, I'm always bummed when having to fight him for the second time, and further bummed that DK has to fight him again. However, this fight has improvements. I can actually see what's going on a bit better, and Army Dill is actually challenging this time. While he still pulls the same moves, he has more under that shell. The Shockwave, Fireball Rain, and Homing Missile are great additions. I wish this was how the first fight went. I wish that this was the only encounter with him. Otherwise, the majority of negative elements to this fight are still present. I enjoyed the fight slightly more the second time, but it doesn't deserve to be any higher on this list. Okay. Up next is one of my personal favorites, King Cutout from Creepy Castle. I placed this boss right in the middle of the list for a lot of reasons. It's not the best or the worst boss fight in this game. I really love the idea behind this. A cardboard cutout of the main enemy is hilarious and silly. I feel there are only so many games out there that could get away with this. I'm also in favor of having every Kong available to the fight. Now, this is probably a cover-up. When a player accidentally blasts a Kong out of the castle arena, the developers probably hit a brick wall in justifying a Kong returning to the fight. However, it doesn't bother me in the slightest because this works as a great threat. You only get 5 lives, use them wisely. Timing out the right castle at the right time is essential too. It's repetitive, but it's challenging and it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something. Some of the few complaints I have involve it being difficult to see again. I hate that you have to swim back to the center every time. The puff tops aren't particularly difficult to avoid, but I always have a difficult time returning to the center of the map. The camera angles could be improved, but otherwise, a good boss for a great world. Okay. On to another favorite, Dogonon from Angry Aztec. This is an all around fun boss battle that I always look forward to doing. While the fight is repetitive, this boss is badass. I mean, come on, a dragonfly, and a boss that has all the reason to spit fireballs at me. They really recycled the TNT barrel idea, but I'm not sure how else one would defeat this boss. I suppose it made more sense with Armadillo because he was armored, but they seriously could have done something with Diddy's jetpack. I mean, this boss already flies. Then again, the jetpack is impossible to control, so it's probably best to stick with this. Camera angles are just fine and lighting is right where you want it. 
I actually feel justified in fighting this boss, seeing as how Diddy squished the smaller dragonfly and the TNT barrels knocked Agadon into the lava, slowly killing him. I honestly have little to no complaints about this boss. It's one of my favorites. Okay. On to my second favorite boss in this game, Magjack from Frantic Factory. This boss is the creepiest and most disturbing of them all. His looks, his laugh, his movement, I do not want him near me. And that's exactly what the fight is about. One reason why I love this fight is because Tiny's abilities are forced to be used here. Finally, a boss fight that makes sense for this Kong specifically. Yes, it's repetitive and the camera angles are rough here, but all you really need to focus on is moving. The lasers are a great addition since fireballs kind of don't make sense for this boss. And I love that his last resort is to turn invisible. <laughs> I'd rather have to refight him than Armadillo. Just imagine what kind of upgrades they could have given him. Okay. Speaking of refights, the number one best boss in this game, not counting King K. Rule himself, is the second boss battle against Dagonon and Fungi Forest. At first, I was disappointed to be fighting this boss again. However, it's somehow more fun than the first round and you're using a different character. A character that actually embraces his abilities. Everything is the same, but with a few more challenges. Once you're past the usual three TNT barrel hits, Dagonon makes things more interesting. He slams on the platform, causing it to slowly sink into the lava. Now things are getting hot in here. He introduces new moves like the shockwave and mostly unavoidable flame wall. Could this fight get any better? Yup. Chunky is then able to grow and beat the crap out of this dragonfly. This is how you make a boss fight. Make it interesting. Let it grow. Give me more ways to beat them up and in ways that make sense. Time sensitivity works here versus here. And that's why the final boss against King K. Rule is so great. Each Kong gets a moment to shine and in a way that is unique to them. Why couldn't they apply this to each boss fight? Could you imagine how much more amazing this game could have been? But what do you think about this list? Do you agree with it? How is your list different from mine? Also, what are your favorite and least favorite bosses in this game? Let me know why in the comments.